Ford Hood recently welcomed Colin Powell to its main exchange for a book signing of his newest publication entitled, It Worked For Me. The book was written as a collection of short stories that tells about the former Secretary of State's outlook on life and how to be successful. What audience did you intend to write it? I, I saw some very good philosophy points in there. Was it meant for a military audience or the general public? All of the above. Uh, when I started to pull those stories together, and it's just a book of stories, 44 chapters, and each chapter stands alone. You can dial in anywhere you want. Uh, there's no index, so you can't look anybody up. So you've got to read the stories. Right. And the more I thought about these stories and assembled them, they were mostly military stories, but I expanded them up so that some of the lessons would apply to major corporations. And I also expanded it down so some of these lessons of how to get along in the military also reflected how you should get along in life. So I think it's as applicable to a teenager as it is to an older person, to a, a large corporation, or just a rifle platoon. He has 13 rules for success, so I asked if he had a favorite. Well, it's like asking which of my children I love the most, uh, but there are 13 rules that uh, really were a subset of many more rules that I used to keep under desk glass. Little, little pieces of paper, scraps of paper with those rules on them and some others. And they were just my little private uh, inventory of rules. And then a reporter back in 1989 was writing a story about me when I became the force com commander. And uh, his, his, he, his article was not complete. He needed something to finish it. So he asked one of my assistants, is there anything about the general we, ought, you know, we can use to close this story? And so she said to him, go ask him about all those slips of paper under his desk glass. And so he did. And he said, well, would you read some off to me? And so I read off on the telephone 13 of them. Not all the rest of them were suitable for family publication. And so he printed up those 13, put it in the back of Parade Magazine to end the article. That was 23 years ago, and we've been handing out copies of that 13 rule list for 23 years. And uh, nobody ever asked me to explain that list. Mm -hmm. And then finally, more and more people, as I use that list in the corporate world and not just in the Army, uh, I decided that in this new book that I just finished, I ought to explain why those rules are important to me and why they're all important. But to answer your question directly, there are two that really are the key to the whole thing. The first one, which says it'll be better in the morning. Uh, that's not a prediction. It may not be better in the morning, but it is an attitude you should have when you go to bed. No matter what troubles we've had today, it's going to be better in the morning, and I'm going to make it better. So it's an attitude of optimism and always looking ahead for better days and better times. And if a leader does that, that attitude is communicated to the rest of the organization. Everybody says, okay, we can make it. And then the last rule, the 13th one, is perpetual optimism is a force multiplier, which is essentially the same thing. Always be optimistic. And if you are optimistic, uh, it leverages up uh, what your ability is to get something done and it gives enthusiasm and confidence to your people. So the whole book really is about leaders and followers, how they get along, how the leaders take care of the followers and the followers take care of the leaders, how you make sure they have a sense of purpose in life and whatever they're doing, and always go into any uh, endeavor that you're involved in with confidence and optimism that you can succeed. The retired general has been to the great place before as the force comm commander in 1989. And he understands the demands that are placed on Fort Hood soldiers. I'd just like to convey to uh, the entire population of Fort Hood, soldiers who serve here, active in reserve and National Guard who come here to train, and to all the family members, and especially the kids, uh, my sincere thanks as a former chairman and a former soldier, a retired soldier, for their service to the country. And the last 10 years have been very, very demanding on our force. And in every speech I give, I give praise to the young men and women and their families that we have serving the nation today. They're doing a great job. Uh, they're as great a generation as any other generation we've ever had. And I'm enormously proud of them, and I thank them. Reporting from Fort Hood, Texas, I'm John Miller.